have a daughter in Ridgewood High School and a son at Orchard Elementary School. I oppose the Turk math program being used in my child's school. Let me say first, I'm very fond of my son's teacher. She knows my position and understands that it has nothing to do with her personally. Let me also say I have great respect for Dr. Muller, and he and I agree to disagree on this matter. That being said, I have given you all handouts. One is an article, this is very ironic, entitled Reaching for Common Ground in K-12 through Mathematics Education, which I printed off the Ridgewood Public Schools website. It was listed under Math Information for Parents, What Do We Mean by a Balanced Approach? I understand that the Ridgewood Public Schools Math Department provided this document so parents would have a solid understanding of the aims of the Math Department's curricula. I didn't believe the author's intention in this article was to defend the radical program Turk Investigations. So I wrote to one of the authors, Professor Milgram of Stanford University, and asked his true meaning. His response is the second handout you have been given, and I'm going to read it now. Dear Ms. O'Keefe, a number of people have attempted to claim that the Common Grounds document means that we regard programs like Turk Investigations as acceptable. Nothing could be further from the truth. It's got to the point that the two mathematicians among the authors, Wilford Schmidt and I, were forced to provide a joint clarifying statement, and I append it below. Just to be entirely clear, I can't speak for Wilfred beyond what we said jointly in our statement below. However, my personal view is that Turk is the second most mathematically illiterate and damaging program I have ever seen. The first, Mathland, was one of the main reasons I got involved in the issues of mathematics education. But investigations is so little better than that horror that it is scarcely possible to discern the difference between the results for the students subjected to these programs. Here is the joint statement that I mentioned above. The following is a joint statement from Wilfred Schmidt, professor of mathematics, Harvard University, and R. James Milgram, professor of mathematics, Stanford University. It has been suggested that our views on K-12 mathematics education have on, undergone a recent change. Not at all. We have consistently maintained that mathematics education must strive for a proper balance between mathematical reasoning, problem solving, and computational facility. Mathematical reasoning requires not only accurate definitions, but also examples of precise reasoning with these definitions. In our view, all of the NSF-funded curricula fall short of giving students the essential tools to reason accurately. Basic number skills continue to be vitally important. Beyond the everyday use of arithmetic, these skills provide a crucial foundation for the higher level mathematics essential for today's and tomorrow's workplace. The NSF-funded curricula generally encourage the overuse of calculators, do not give students sufficient support to achieve automatic recall of basic number facts, do not cheat, teach algorithms properly, and pay insufficient attention to the arithmetic of fractions. We regard the K through 5 program, Investigations in Number, Data, and Space, Turk, as especially deficient. R. James Milgram, he was the Stanford guy, and William Schmidt, he's the Harvard guy. I think the professors from Stanford and Harvard have made my point for me. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Thank you.